Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be going through something a little bit different than normal where I'm going to be going through you know the, the a lovely example of show me the charts and I will tell you the news as we know the technicals actually lead news so if there's a really good story about to be announced guess what price is always going to be at support and then price moves up uh, after the article's release and people think oh wow this price has gone up because of the good news when really you know the the people that know the news are, are going to be accumulating that support and if a bit of bad news comes out guess what it's always when price is at resistance and then when price drops people are like oh yeah it's because of the news not knowing obviously the insiders are, are clearly you know uh, distributing their you know bags essentially or entering short positions and then the news is released you know um and we just have a lovely example of that today obviously bitcoin currently uh bitcoin is 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 just being totally range bound obviously we we were in a you know in a local downtrend at the moment um but uh yeah before i get on to the technical analysis just thought I'd make you aware that obviously that Femex competition that we were talking about, uh, well, God, nearly 10 days ago now, actually, um, starts in two days. So if you're interested in joining that, I'll leave the links, uh, I don't know, in the description or in the comments, in a pinned comment uh, down below. Um, and obviously, yeah, that competition starts in two days. So if you want to join, you can click the link in the description, click on join our team. You know, creating an account is obviously trading on Femex, uh, and, you know, and, and you'll be in the team. This is obviously a team competition. Um, so, you know, we are a, a team and we're playing against other teams in the competition. Uh, you know, the, the three times that we've entered this, uh, we've always been in the money. So we've always, always finished in top 10. Last time we finished in third place. So, you know, let's go for it again. And, and what's cool about this is everybody in the team will receive a, a you know, a, a bit of the prize pool. So I don't really think there's a uh, a downside to joining this one. Uh, but if you are interested, I'll leave it in the description down below. You can go to the website and, and check it out. But um, yeah, bringing it back to the technical analysis that I want to go through here. And it's obviously continuing from yesterday with the, the, the Tezos analysis that I gave you. Um, and so this is pretty interesting in my opinion. So if we zoom into the charts here, we can see, you know, Tezos was obviously in, you know, locally downtrending. So on the local term, lower term time frame, and even if you're not trading Tezos, I still think this is a, you know, pretty interesting video for you to watch nevertheless. Okay. Um, so, you know, let, let's go through the analysis then. So obviously we know on the higher term time frames we were trading this really, really, really nice channel. OK, well, I've already successfully been able to long the lows of the channel. And, you know, if you like to short altcoins, you could have shorted the highs or for me, just like a bit better, 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 better take profit. Uh, and obviously we'd been trading that higher term time frame channel. And as we know, uh, down and around the 16th to the 17th, uh, you know, there's two last few days here. We've obviously been trading down and around the channel low. Obviously, we hadn't actually touched the exact channel low. But we're obviously in that region of the channel low. And we have to remember this is an extremely big channel when we look at it in terms of percentage from the low to the high. We're talking about 70 percent. It's a very, very, very big channel. Let's just say that. And we were down very much towards the lows of this. And, you know, you have to remember this was obviously the region um, that was interesting to us. Let's just say that we obviously would say, you know, get ready for a potential um you know tesla's pump uh myself was the way that i was trading this so from the 16th obviously it pumped on the 17th so i was pretty fortunate in the time i decided to buy into this but what i was doing this is the way you you'll know this if you trade on certain exchanges that the liquidity on some of these altcoins is not great eg you you cannot just go you know let's say you want to fill a position of i don't know like uh, 50 bitcoin it's it's really a bad idea to just go market buy 50 bitcoin because well price is just going to run away from you and it's just not it's just not you know you don't, there's no need to like ape into like 50 bitcoin positions so the way that you you would generally try and get into these altcoins and, and again you wouldn't just put a buy wall of a limit order of 50 bitcoin as well because generally uh you know the bots are going to react to this and it's just going to be hard to fill the position so the way you want to like enter larger positions is you split up your orders so let's say you want to enter 50 bitcoin and you you would enter two bitcoin two bitcoin two bitcoin 
you know, too big or less, okay, or you could do things like iceberg orders, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, but you would never just go all into your position really quickly. So, you, you know, when you're offered potential areas like this to accumulate larger positions, you know, the way you would do it is with iceberg orders or several smaller orders within the book over, you know, over, say, a few percent region, okay, and, you know, you can soon slowly accumulate your positions. And for me, you know, it's an interesting place to do it. We were at the bottom of the channel. <laughs> I had lovely confluence with Mike. Uh, obviously, this is the channel we were looking at back on the 16th. And so for me, I, I recognize that where we were, you know, where we are in the larger picture, this is, in my opinion, a good place to accumulate. Obviously, we can say, you can say it went very well as we had over a 10%, you know, rise to the upside yesterday. And, you know, so where am I going with this video? Where is the, you know, where's the value in this? It's, it's, it's the thing show me the charts and I will tell you the news because that is a really interesting example. Um, so obviously we posted that video yesterday at 12.36. You know, we went over on Twitter at 12.56 to just emphasize to everybody, you know, Tezos literally is hitting support at the moment. Um, you know, it's kind of an interesting time to be looking at it. And then this is, this is the really funny thing that McLaren, I'm sure you all have heard of McLaren, um, they actually partnered with Tezos uh, to make a NFT. And that was posted at 1 p.m. So isn't this funny that a lot of people are going to be like, oh, the pump happens because of McLaren posting at 1 p.m. Obviously, the pump actually got really underway at about quarter past one. So 15 minutes after this post, the pump you know, really got some speed. But don't you find it kind of funny that we were recognizing on the 16th this is a good time to start accumulating tezos and then the news come out on the 17th just after we were like alerting people to this that this is good a time to buy tezos and then the news comes out and then everybody is jumping into tezos but in my opinion too late so this is the thing that you have to remember here and again this is just a general overview insights into the way you should be approaching trading this is the zone where one could say it was a decent accumulation down to obviously could have gone lower we were looking down to the lower of the channel so this is this zone was our accumulation zone yeah if you were buying after the news you are literally buying it up into resistance and i'll show you this white line so what what resistances were we mentioning yesterday and they came together perfectly so if you look on the btc pair you had this double high liquidity zone which is obviously a resistance so on the BTC pair, if you were trading the news, it's very likely that you were buying up to or around resistance. And on the USDT tether pair, obviously I'm trading this over on Bybit. So I'm only, you know, in, in terms of the leverage trading, I was buying spot as well, actually. But in terms of the leverage trading, I'm doing that obviously on, on the tether pair. And that was hitting into weekly resistance. Obviously, this is the same level that I gave yesterday. So we saw the rising price over the course of the day on, on the tether pair, you know, 13% to the upside, hitting weekly resistance. And just look how absolutely perfect that weekly resistance was, by the way. Wick, 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 bam, like we're already down, pulled back over 6%, by the way. So the tether pair was hitting resistance of the weekly, which was the level that I, you know, obviously gave yesterday. And, well, simultaneously, this Bitcoin pair was also running into the old height, easier resistance level. And for example, you know, this was, you know, <laughs> I would never recommend this, but obviously a lot of people, as soon as we had posted the video, were buying Tezos. Uh, but luckily, if, you know, people obviously were, were buying that crazy when you think about it, but buying off of the video, you know, 12.49. So before before the really big pump happened, so they got in early and actually made it, managed to profit, you know, 10% to the upside, pretty decent. But what was interesting about this is that also many people that had missed the trades inside the group were saying actually this is a good short we have to block out the news just, who care you know i don't care about this news by the way like it's just like who cares so it's like you know, the people that were trading the news fomoing in off of mclaren partnership you know we we can say that they're buying into resistance where many champions were actually saying hey we've just seen a 10 percent rise into weekly resistance into the ex Tezos BTC pair hitting the highs. This is actually a good short. And I know Mike and a few others actually were shorting Tezos. And they were like, hey, Daniel, we're counter trading. I was like, actually, it's not really counter trading because it's like 
you know, I, I agree. This is a resistance. This for me is a take profit. Uh, you know, we've moved up because, you know, an extremely quick move to the upside. Of course, this is a good take profit or a good short. And we could say, well, safely, that was a good short because we've pretty much gave back the whole pump on, on the on the tes, uh, on the tether pair, on the Bitcoin pair, obviously heading down after after hit, taking out that double top as well, almost a triple high. So, you know, at the end of the day, I just, you know, briefly wanted to start off this video by showing to you firstly the power of recognizing the charts you know and when's a good time to buy secondly it's in before the news and then thirdly if you are still buying off of the news d -d 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 bad idea because you know the technicals are running this the technicals showed us when to buy the technicals showed us when to sell or for me, take profit. Other people, you know, entering short positions here. Are well, well done to them, clearly, because it was a good short. And so at the end of the day, it just is such a lovely example that I just wanted to bring you here on on, on, on altcoins or, or, you know, just in general, the, the saying of show me the charts, I'll tell you the news. And at the end of the day, why technicals truly run this market. And if you are trading off the news, you are too late to the move. Yeah. Period. I don't care if it's for Tezos, for Ethereum, for Bitcoin, all of these things. It's the same thing over and over and over again. The technicals really do run this market. And the, the good news comes out when prices at support. The bad news comes out when prices at resistance. I mean, we, we just look at Elon Musk tweets, yeah? Elon Musk tweets, how many times has he tweeted when we've already been saying like, you know, price it price is bullish at this moment in time, and then he comes out with a good tweet, or when price is at resistance, then he'll come out with a bad tweet. So, you know, all whether it's Elon, whether it's this, that, or the, you know, at the end of the day, it's all run off the technicals. And this was just another brilliant example, you know, carrying on from, from yesterday's video where we were talking about Tezos, and then how literally it, well, it saw a pretty massive, <laughs> to be honest with you, massive pump to the up or 10 percent pump to the upside for me that's yeah, pretty massive i'm not going to lie uh obviously hitting take profits and I'm pretty sure i wrote about a take profit here there you go yeah nice take profit one to pay yourself um so it's like you, know, you got to pay yourself when you get such massive moves to the upside um definitely and other people obviously short in it so you know is the technical analysis itself different than yesterday well not, not really, I suppose. If we look at this on the larger term time frame, of course, the technical analysis is, is still the same. We're still down and around the bottom of the channel, obviously, with this Tezos, uh, you know, Tether pair, sorry. Well, that weekly is still obviously a major resistance level. It's, you know, struggling with it, let's say. And, and Bitcoin weakness, obviously, does not help this. Bitcoin... You know, it's pretty weak at the moment, <laughs> pretty weak at the moment. It's like Mike made that video the other day. You can go back and watch it. Bitcoin about to dump, you know, talking you through like the resistances that you have on this. And while these resistances hold, well, you know, it's, what, why not expect lower? So, um, you know, obviously market weakness across the board, apart from the stock market. I mean, I could do a video on the stock market. I think that's just a oh man. If you think crypto trading is easy, well, actually, I don't know whether a lot of people think that, but, you know, I think crypto is relatively easy, but stock market is just the easy, oh, man, you just buy, you just buy everything on the stock market. It just goes up and up and up and up and up. I mean, I could talk about NVIDIA for days, but I'm not going to in this video because, hey, it's already 10 minutes, but 13 minutes long. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I must admit a bit of a different video. Um, you know, I thought it was worth jumping on for 10 minutes and just just showing you once again another brilliant example of um, why we trade the charts, why we do not trade off the news. And even if there is a good bit of news, it doesn't change the technicals. Yeah. So even though I think we can agree like McLaren posting about Tesla, it's, you know, it's pretty good fundamental news. No. So explain to me why we reject off the weekly to the dollar and get you know, a heavy rejection and retrace the whole of the pump. Um, you know, a technical trader would, would you know, a would understand that that's the reason we hit weekly and we got a rejection whereas a fundamental guy has bought the high now underwater you know what then they must be thinking to themselves why why is why is tesla's rejecting this is really good news well it's because the technical traders are, are i want to say like running running the market here and i think it's evident that that is the case i don't think you can argue with that because the moves from the beginning of the move up at support going into obviously a bit of a you know weekly resistance here on the bit, a tether pair, Bitcoin pair, simultaneously, obviously taking that triple top high. It's all resistance at the end of the day. People are taking profits. People are taking shorts. It doesn't matter about the news. If you trade the news, you're late to the move. <laughs> so, um, yeah.
Um, ladies and gentlemen, I, I don't know. You'll have to let me know. I'm always, I don't know whether I should bother sometimes doing these videos, whether it's helpful, whether it's, uh, I don't know whether people find it interesting or not. Um, obviously, it's not about Bitcoin. And I know, like, I don't know, the majority, but just like myself, you know, my, my main focus is Bitcoin. I trade the altcoins when there's opportunities. Um, but Bitcoin, obviously, is the star of the show. So I don't know whether people enjoy me. I, I guess I was thinking about that yesterday. What was the probability of me talking about Tezos yesterday? The probabilities must be very low. I hardly ever talk about alts. And then for that alt to be Tezos, pretty low probabilities, wasn't it? But um, yeah, anyway, I'm pretty happy with the way it where it went in the end, made some, made some decent profits and, uh, you know, on to the next trade, I suppose, ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much, hope you've enjoyed the video, you'll have to let me know, maybe I've rambled on too long, and uh, yeah, if you want to join that Femex, uh, Femex trading competition, I'll leave the link down in the description below, all I will say is obviously, even if you are not, you know, not great at trading, I suppose, then there's no real downside of this comp, because it's a team comp, and only the top 10 actually, you know, affect the overall pnl of the team so yeah if you want to join in feel free if not then yeah no, don't worry about it <laughs> so yeah cheers everybody hope you have a good day oh actually i must end with this of course the legal disclaimer i've not really talked about any entry so i don't know whether i need to bother with this but i'll do it anyway no financial advice obviously in this video entertainment educational only um yeah, and I, I suppose final words, I'll catch you all on Sunday for the Champions live stream, where obviously I'm going to go in Bitcoin in a lot of detail, going through my high term time frame plan. Um, yeah, no, so I'll, I'll, I'll do that on Sunday in the Champions live stream. If that sounds interesting as well. I've talked too long. Thank you ever so much. Cheers, everybody. Have a good day and goodbye. Cheers.